We did it! <laughs> I was just a ball of stress last week, but about five miles down. Hi vlog! I am in such a good mood today. I just wanna say I'm having the best day ever. I just went on a walk with a friend and it was so nice. I really enjoyed just walking and chatting and me and Piper, my dog, were wearing matching pink outfits and I'm still like all in pink. I have like hot pink leggings that are like electric hot pink and then this bright pink shirt, pink cup. And I also have a really cute like fanny pack that has some pink in it. And the vibe is just immaculate. I think the weather is gorgeous too. It's a chilly day but it's not too bad it's really warming up with the sun so it's like in the 50s and it feels fabulous I was just listening to fantasy by Mariah Carey and I was just jamming like that's my vibe right now super happy super chipper and very much like a can-do attitude which is awesome because I really want to bring that type of positivity and self-love and embracing who I am girliness vibe into the half marathon when we run it this weekend or next weekend. Um, I kind of rolled my ankle a little bit. Well, I really did like roll my ankle, but I'm thinking I'm feeling okay. Um, on Thursday, I, so I took some ibuprofen Thursday, Friday. Full disclosure, I think overarchingly this half marathon training has been a little chaotic. I gotta do this haul for y'all now. Okay, went to Philly Runner, kind of blew a bag. Not really, but kind of. But it was all things that we've discussed buying. So, let me show you. I ended up getting Mark this Coda Paxi bag. I was able to text him and confirm that he likes this one. I think it's super cute. And then I got these socks, which are really cute um, and really nice, honestly, for when you're running. Got Mark these socks which he loves and they were half off which is awesome now i'm gonna do gel tour and is like has roctane in it if that's how you say that orange mandarin raspberry lemonade there's a bunch more orange uh tri berry love this flavor so we got a few of these and then strawberry banana another one of these like roctane or whatever um and this one is blueberry pomegranates and then just another tri berry so that's the haul, super excited. Um, there weren't that many of these Cotopaxi bags there. So that's part of why I was like, you know what? Let me see if I can text him and confirm what he wants. It's Monday, half marathon is Saturday and I'm just getting my morning sun and I'm wearing my winter coat and my beanie cause it's already outside. But you know, I feel super comfortable in this. I'm enjoying like coming out here in the morning and I just like wrap myself in a blanket too on my lap because it's still good to get outside even when it's cold and um it's helping me like start to embrace that habit. Yesterday kind of went sideways on my half training um we were going for our long run our last long run and this one was like a taper one so it was like eight miles and I was super excited about it and it's a long story but I think First off, my shin is hurting a lot on my right foot, my right leg, and um, I was just getting really in my head about it and getting nervous about the race and how slow I'm going to be, and then when we got there, I had to pee really bad, and it was super cold, and I did not dress appropriately, and I was like, oh my gosh. So I wore a sweater that Mark had in the car and did a hot girl walk instead for like four miles because... I just felt like I wouldn't be able to comfortably run in that jacket that I was wearing. It's like a wool sweater once I warmed up and it would be really hard to hold and run. And I was just also already like, I don't know, struggling a lot yesterday. But I think I've just been really in my head about parts of this half because I didn't train as much by a long shot as I did for the last half. 
So I'm nervous about like how slow I'm gonna be and just getting down on myself and just it being like a suffer fest. <laughs> so I just have a fear of like others judging my speed and like how long it takes me and like, oh my God, what if like I don't even finish and just thoughts like that or like what if I like get really bad shin splints and I like can't continue halfway through. But I do think this is a really good chance for me to practice uh, positive self-talk and maybe I'll spend some time even like journaling about it this week. Um, Hi vlog. Tonight we have our last running group this semester. Be a little sad but it'll be fun and we're gonna have a car loading party on Friday evening. So the remaining things I need to do for the half, attend the running group, I need to make a running playlist, Need to kind of organize our car bloating party and make sure all my laundry and all of that kind of stuff is clean um and my headphones are charged my watch is charged all of that my friend one time ran t a 10 mile race and for some reason i think it was because it was rainy her phone like wasn't responding to her touching it so she couldn't like i think even play music it was very odd and i'm like if that happens honestly I'm joining the crowd. Good morning vlog. It is Wednesday. So I'm about to go to Starbucks and work there for a few hours. Kind of went back and forth about it, but decided it's a good idea just to be out and about and be around people. And they have my favorite drink that I'm allowing myself to get like once a week. Overarchingly, I am excited for this half training to be over and it's funny because my relationship with running right now, it's very like love hate or like love dread. A lot of times I do enjoy myself. I especially enjoy my long runs and I love the fashion. I love long runs. I love listening to music. Um, I love the feeling <clears throat> of when I'm like comfortable and enjoying myself. But there's been a lot of times where I haven't really wanted to do it and the pressure of knowing that I have a race is something that I've been struggling with because I think I always hold myself to a very, very high standard. Um, it's kind of like I'm a perfectionist, but also just kind of hard on myself and just always raising the bar. So it's like, um, it's a little bit unmanageable and it's something I've been trying to work on improving, but I'm not all the way there at all other people seeing me and having knowing that friends will be waiting for me at the end and wondering like how long are they gonna have to wait for me and it's gonna be so embarrassing like that type of thinking has kind of been in my head a lot the last week or two so I'm kind of been struggling with that and I've also been having a really stressful work week I've had a big influx and some like urgent requests time sensitive requests unexpected work and then I have my additional work that was already a little bit behind. I definitely have been kind of a ball of anxiety. Um, and I think also adjusting to my new medication, one of the side effects can be anxiety. So it's like now more than ever, I need to really be practicing my self coping skills, but I'm feeling a little bit like burnt at both ends between like dreading the half and being excited for the half and wanting it to be over and all the exercise that comes with that. And then also feeling like really in a time crunch with work and putting in like extra work and like a little bit longer days and like grinding and like really being like super drilled in and still being stressed. Those things have kind of been intense for me the last week and a half. Okay, I just drove to Starbucks. But to kind of wrap it up, yeah, it's just been kind of a crazy time. Like we went from training to the robbery to coming home, getting over our cold hitting training again, having a really stressful time with work, starting new medication. Even this week and next week, I need to be intentional about self-care and rest and having a positive mindset. Good morning vlog. It is Thursday and I am drinking my coffee for the day.
not great, not awful. I added in some collagen powder. I got flavored and I am still adjusting to the flavor. Maybe I should have done unflavored, but I do like it. It's just different. Today, our general plan is to work from home and then we're going to go to downtown Maniac and go to the Christmas tree lighting event extravaganza. It's called like Maniac Gets Lit. I have been working on my playlist for the race and I think it's pretty banging. It's like five hours of nonstop hits. Um, <laughs> Britney Spears, Lady Gaga, lots of Beyonce. Um, some of my favorite like techno, Polo and Pan. I also spent some time yesterday with Mark on our date night at Barnes and Noble and I was reading this really great book about kind of the fear of other people's opinions and how to work through kind of developing a sense of self that's based on others responses to you part of the book talked about something called performance-based identity i think and it was super interesting because i feel like that kind of got at the crux of what i struggle with sometimes where i compare myself to other people and I kind of make like being the best out of a group or being good at something in relation to others my metric for success, which is really bad. <laughs> and um, I also, you know, there's like a fear of failure in there and perfectionism and it's all kind of like wound up. Um, and I think that's like pretty valid for me. That feels relatively accurate. And that's not me saying I think I'm perfect. That's me saying I judge myself against like these really odd standards. Um, and I don't so much view other people as like, oh, I'm better than them and that kind of way. I more so view myself as like, I have to keep up with the pack. I have to, you know, be good enough um, more so. And part of the book was talking about really changing from viewing yourself based on the opinions of others and your perceptions of them which can be super off to developing a sense of self based on your core values so i think that's like extremely again on point and relevant for me to work on and um and then also talked about i was like super skimming it so this is just what i took away in like the 20 30 minutes that i was checking it out it also talked about how um Ideally, you want to kind of understand that one, you're always changing and don't be so connected to a really strong identity um, if you can, but also uh, to focus on kind of your life purpose and again, kind of the core values and your overarching purpose and then weigh and measure things against that. Um, so with that being said, I read that and then I came home and I watched Survivor with Mark. I worked on writing down some different running affirmations I found and I'm going to kind of look at those a little bit more today and try to see if there's ones that speak to, again, that kind of like core value element and kind of the purpose um, and just feel like they ring true and like they'll be encouraging. It's a really long list that I made. Um, so I'll kind of slim down and try to like, I don't know, practice a few the, on race day slash leading up to race day. I'll share a link to the book in the YouTube video description. But that was really pretty dope and really well timed. It is Friday morning. I took my sweet time getting up this morning and the plan for today is that we are going, I'm just trying to avoid showing you my messy bedroom. Ah! Um, the plan for today, there we go, is for us to work. I have a work retreat today virtually that I'm super stoked about. And then we are going to go pick up our friend Hannah, go get our bibs at Expo and check out Expo come home and have a carb loading party. So I do have a list of things I'm trying to accomplish today. I also have compression socks and my water bottle because these are gonna be key. <laughs> I have a list of things 
I am hoping to accomplish today that I'll walk you through. Okay. okay. Just to my vitamin, I need to get some water, take my med, feed Piper, feed Nebula. I actually already fed Nebula. I need to feed Piper, feed Morpheus, let Piper out, give Piper her med. Then I think I'm going to do some inventory for the race and also kind of get ready for work and start working at the same time. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, just finished my order on Target. Sorry if it's loud outside. Um, but I got Pop-Tarts, bagels, uh, a pizza, and a loaf of bread that I really like for snacking on today slash tomorrow morning for breakfast and tonight for dinner. So with that being said, I think I'm going to hop on my computer and start working and charging my stuff. I do feel like we have a lot going on between going to the expo and then hosting people and needing to clean the house and having the work thing. So I hope I can do it all. But, uh, you know, I guess worst case, the house is a little more lived in or the food's not ready upon their, when they walk in. And that's all okay. So hopefully we'll just have fun and chill with it. Hello, vlog. I don't know why my screen seems like super bright. Anyway, <laughs> um, we just had our carb load party. It was really fun. We had a few friends over and we ate a lot of pasta, garlic bread, salad, chilled, watched some really good music videos that Mark and me are obsessed with lately by the band Jungle. And now I'm gonna head upstairs and make sure I have everything I need. I intended to do that earlier, but did not because I really kind of like got a bit short on time there. Okay, I can now confirm watch is charged, watch is on. Headphones are in my fanny pack with my gels, my deodorant, my shoes. Now it's time to fold clothing, set up my race day outfit, put it over there. Okay, I may not have my perfectly matchy matchy outfit as planned for tomorrow, which is okay in all reality. Um, I think I have some socks downstairs that are okay. I have some additional socks up here. So socks I'm gonna kind of wing in the morning. <sighs> the rest of the shoes, or the rest of the outfit is all right. I'm gonna show you the outfit tomorrow because I might call an audible or two. Took my meds. I think I'm going to brush my teeth and get into bed. Yeah. I'm like, it is what it is, family. I have to say that my ankle is feeling like way better, way better. So I'm really happy about that. Good morning vlog. It is 4.47 a.m. I actually slept better than I thought I would. And no, it's not the longest night of sleep of my life because we went to bed at like 11. But it's one night, and I think what I've realized or try to remind myself in these mornings like this when we've done races is, like, your body can be fine for, like, one day. You're going to be fine. Like, yeah, you want the most sleep and the best sleep you can get, but you're going to be fine. And that's just what it is. That's just what it is. When we've done Disney races, we had to get up even earlier to the point of, like, we slept for, like, hardly at all the night before, and it was, like, crazy, crazy. Um... Okay, so time to get dressed, time to drink water, and eat carbs, and get our friends. We're doing this! Yay! Like I mentioned before in my other vlog clips, my focus is having a good energy, good attitude. The pets are so confused. About five miles down, <sighs> doing faster than I planned. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so 
so going faster than I thought I would. But I'm gonna try to pull back a little bit just to make sure I'm okay for the whole distance. But absolutely gorgeous day. <laughs> in the bag. I feel like I'm not sure going too fast or not, but I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna keep rocking and if I have to walk at the end, okay. 11 down. Um, the 11 mile to 12 is the hardest in my opinion, but I'm ready to rock it. My ankle is hurting a bit more, but I'm at 11.7-ish and I'm determined to finish. I'm gonna do the best I can. Positive energy. Self-love. Let's go. Approximately one mile to go. I'm gonna do this. We did it! Ah, oh my God, I'm so happy. I'm so happy for so many reasons. I'm so happy that we did a half. I really enjoyed it overall. Um, it almost feels like a fever dream. I'm so glad it's off my plate. I'm so glad that for the majority of the run, I felt really good. My ankle started to bother me a lot more, miles 10, 11, 12. So at that point, I was running at a very slow pace or like tried to walk, but running was actually like better because I was taking, I think, like smaller steps. And just like the angle of it was better than walking. So I ultimately was like, I'm going to finish that way um and I also didn't I was trying to be mindful to not like cop out prematurely other broad spectrum thoughts one the fans or the, the crowd was so awesome and it's so sweet seeing so many people like take time to encourage total strangers or friends and family <sighs> number two I'm super proud of Mark's running group and all of our friends who did the race with us. We even had one of our running group members come and watch us. And that was so sweet and super like kind. Um, third thought, towards the end, all the photographers were like, can I get a picture? Can I get a picture? I was like, sure. So I hope some of them came out good. Okay, I think this is five. Um, I didn't realize in some of the vlog clips that you will see, I have like blood on my teeth slash on my lips slash some of it I think is partially gel and blood because my lips split when I was running and were bleeding a lot. And then the blood dried on my lips. And it's kind of a nightmare, but sorry, <laughs> that's what happened. Um, anywho... My God, it was so awesome. Um, does it mean that I want to do another half tomorrow? No, no, it doesn't. But it does mean I'm really glad ultimately that I did it. And also big picture, I think I also did a better job with my mindset about the race. I tried really hard to focus on the fact I enjoy running. It is fun for me to run. I am a runner and this is really fun for me. This is a great way to spend a day. And I'm really happy I'm here. It was also beautiful outside. <laughs> the weather was awesome. And uh, the weather was awesome. The trees were beautiful. The homes were beautiful. The route's great. The only thing I have to say is at the very end of the route, like the last two miles, I'm not a huge fan of. I'd love for them to reroute those. I'm just super happy and very grateful for my body. Right now I am in a heated blanket. <laughs> I have an ice pack on my ankle because I was like, oh my God, my ankle is like really hurting towards the end. And I was like, I might need a little medic tent like after the finish line, but I got distracted and I didn't do that. Um, and we have ordered Uber Eats. I've taken four ibuprofen. I'm serious about this. And I've got Tiger's Bob on my ankle as well. Um, got a LaCroix, ate some bread. And yeah, my favorite Mexican is coming probably in like 20 minutes. And I think we're going to watch Bachelor in Paradise and Survivor. Yeah.